up next, uh, this is Charlie Todd. He is the founder of Improv Everywhere, which I'm sure you guys have heard about. Um, woo! Um, a lesser known fact, I think, is that he's also an improv, I mean, he's an improv performer and teacher. Um, so please welcome Charlie to the stage. <coughs> All right, thanks guys. I'm not gonna talk about Improv Everywhere or Improv today. I'm gonna talk about The Flaming Lips, which is my favorite band. This is the best album of all time. It's called Zurika. It's on four CDs. It came out in 1997. The catch is you have to play all four CDs at the exact same time on four separate CD players. So why is that awesome? Because you have to have a party in order to be able to listen to it. You have to have three people come over, probably bring a couple of boom boxes unless you have four stereos, and you need them just to be able to press play simultaneously. So I'm going to teach you guys how to throw a proper Zurika party. Zurika came from some experiments that Flaming Lips did with audio in the mid-1990s. Uh, they did a thing called the parking lot experiments where they passed out a bunch of cassette tapes to a few dozen of their friends in a parking lot. Everybody pressed play at the same time in their cars and blasted the audio as loudly as possible. They also did a concert series called the Boombox Experiments, where instead of playing their songs live, they just went to rock venues and had about 50 boomboxes pass them out to the audience, and Wayne and Steven conducted them by having them turn the volume up and down. So, how do you throw a Zurika party? The first thing you need to do is get the album. They originally uh, only released it limited edition of 5,000 copies. That's all they could talk Warner Brothers into doing. Um, but now it's been re-released. You can get it on Amazon for 18 bucks. I recommend actually getting it rather than downloading it because it's a nice package. Now you've got to get four boom, boom boxes, or you can use stereo or an iPod dock or whatever you might have. I think because of the boom box experiments, it's probably intended to be played on boom boxes. You could use the best buy method of going and getting four boom boxes and returning them the night after your party if you want to. Pick your space. Um, you want to have a room that's probably square because you want to have your speakers or your sound sources in all four corners of the room. A rectangle can be a little awkward for that. And you want to have all of your friends at the party sitting in the middle, which can be a little bit weird because most apartments aren't designed that way. Um, you don't have to do your apartment. Maybe you can rent a space to throw this party. Um, you also want to think about realistically how many people you can fit at this party. You don't want to have 100 people show up to your tiny living room to listen to this album. And you don't want to just have all of your friends show up. You want to have your nerd, geeky friend show up. You probably don't want to invite every single person that you know. These girls might not be into Zurika. I don't know. Um, they were what came up on a Google image search for sorority girl. So. You, what I recommend is having a start time. Have your, have, if you want to have a party, invite all your friends. Have a party at 9 o'clock at night. But at 8 o'clock, have a Zurika party and tell people, if you want to show up for a weird, uh, difficult selection of noisy music, show up at 8 o'clock. If you phrase it that way, only the hardcore people are going to show up. You'll party with the rest of your friends at 9 o'clock. Um, you're going to want to provide some food and drinks and perhaps substances. I do want to stress that Zurika is an amazing experience and it's an amazing thing to listen to stone cold sober. Um, but I also enjoy having some food and drinking some beer while listening to the album. If your friends like to get fucked up, that might be fun too. Um, one thing that you can do while you're listening to the album is pass out programs for all of your friends. Uh, someone in Comic Sans typed up the liner notes. Uh, on the internet, and if you just Google Zurika, you can find it. It's on a GeoCities site. But it would be nice to, uh, the liner notes are actually really well written by Wayne, and they're insightful and information on every song. Um, so it's nice to have something to read about the songs while you're listening to it very loudly. It should be turned up loud. We're not going to chit chat. We're really all going to experience this album together. Talk to your neighbors. Tell them that you're going to be playing an insane album out of eight different speakers at high volume that has shrieks and moans and other weird noises in it uh, so they don't call the police on you. There's even one track that has a warning on it that you shouldn't drive while listening to it because it has super high frequencies. Um, the next thing you need to do is select your captains. So there's four there are four stereos, so you're going to need four people to press play. Uh, I definitely recommend reserving one of the stereos for yourself. It's your party. Find three trusted friends to help you because you're going to have to press play at the beginning of each track. Uh, the Flaming Lips discovered with this album that CD players spin at a slightly different rate. Even if it's the exact same model, they can get a little bit out of sync. That's part of the fun of each song, but you want to start uh, at the beginning for each one to get in sync. No spoilers. There'll be one person at your party who's been to a few Zurika parties before. I've had a few. I've had people who've come to every one. Tell them to shut the fuck up because there's some people who are experiencing this album for the first time and they, they don't want to hear how the next song is really the best song and all the cool shit's going to happen at this particular point. 
variations. Uh, if you want to do it a second time at the same night or have another party, you could do it with only three CDs. You could do it with only two CDs. There's some different things you could do. Uh, but definitely your first time, listen to all four CDs. There's also something called Zurika 5.1, which you can download from BitTorrent. It's a bootleg that a fan made. They took the eight sound sources and put it into 5.1. It's actually pretty well done. And they uh, also have images that go along with it in kind of a Wizard of Oz, Pink Floyd way um, from some crazy movies. Um, one final note is that you might also enjoy the Soft Bulletin. Uh, a lot of the tracks from Zarika that didn't make it onto the album ended up going onto the Soft Bulletin, which is their other best album, and that's available in Surround Sound, too. So uh, go have a Zarika party. Thanks. Thanks, Charlie.